This is the last few minutes of the gig roundtable, Rideshare Rodeo's show that he hosts every Thursday night. They are discussing DoorDash and interacting with those of us who were in the live chat. I made the mistake of admitting something that's obviously looked down upon by my good friend Steve. Steve closes the show with the best line I've ever heard as a show closer, especially coming from him as his content covers the more serious side of the gig economy. Don't miss this good laugh at the end. To compare the price of ordering directly at the restaurant versus ordering on Uber with your discount. Now, granted, I know the restaurant is going to get a fee, but in this day and age when everyone's looking at their pockets, it could be a pretty good difference. So there's this one restaurant that we tend to order from a few times a month, maybe like two or three. And we always order through Uber because with my discount, it's about $8 less than if I ordered directly from the restaurant. Yeah. I, mean, I saw I saw a customer comment on Twitter that said, you know, I don't, it was weird too, because I don't, I don't normally comment on something like this, but I saw it and I was like, it said, I am not using DoorDash anymore because it costs too much for me to go pick up my food. And I was like, what the hell? I've always wondered where these people are who pick it up. <laughs> like, yeah, they, they exist. So, and so when yeah. I actually commented to him and he commented back and I, but I said, I said, I said, I've, I really, I don't know if I've ever know. I, I know I've never met somebody where I know that they do this. I said, I'm just surprised. Why don't you just go in and pick it up? Because you're ju- definitely wasting money. And his, his answer was kind of, uh, it was different because he said, he said, um, I have an anxiety issues. But that has nothing to do with ordering. Well, I think that it was that he can do it through an app and not have to go in and talk to people and. No, but he, oh, maybe it's a restaurant where he can't order online directly through the restaurant's website. Yeah. That could be. Right. But I mean, I just found that to be interesting because I wonder how many, like, is it introvert or extrovert? Which <laughs> Introvert that doesn't like talking to people. Right. So, I mean, yeah. like, maybe that's the people who use that. I don't know. Maybe there are I would people never... that are to use it. I didn't, I was always like, nobody uses that. <laughs> I would never order on the app to pick up in the restaurant unless I have a discount. It doesn't make any sense. Holly, what? Holly, does. Why? Do you have a discount? Because I know sometimes DoorDash does. Why are you supporting DoorDash, Holly? (laughs) (laughs) And you're a delivery driver. Damn it. Usually when you're they out delivering. Still, whether you pick or order, you order you Uber Eats and you go to pick it up, they still raise their prices on every single item Wait. because they still are paying a commission still on pickup. So it's still more expensive. Usually when I'm out delivering and eating in my... So you're when you're waiting for orders, you're ordering food to your car? <laughs> no, she's a pickup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't pick up. <laughs> that makes sense then, but okay. But again, why would you use DoorDash? I mean, you're, I, I don't know. Maybe, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, there's no way you're saving money. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. Okay, so I get it. It's easy to compare the restaurants, but then once you choose a restaurant, just go to the restaurant's website and place the order. Unless just you call have ahead of time. Order. If you know, I'm making this up. If you know you're going to a sushi place and you have a five minute ride to a sushi place, just say, "Hey, can I have a I don't know a tuna roll and a California roll to go and just go pick it up at the same time you're picking up an order." If that's what you're doing. <laughs> and this is just I'm just going to ask because I know a lot of people don't use it anymore, but I'm sure there's other tools like this. Don't you have Yelp? You can see the menu. You uh, can yes. call the restaurant right from Yelp. And order it yourself. Sure. Don't give them your business, Holly. Jesus, we're in a war here. <laughs> you're like giving them. You're like giving it them is. missiles. <laughs> it is definitely more trouble. Yes, <laughs> I work for you, and I order food through you. Don't do that. <laughs> it makes it look like the model works. <laughs> That's like people that say that they place their order on Uber and they try to get their own order, like as a driver. You're actually not supposed to do that, but. I've seen yeah, that, that'd be like me calling a rideshare and saying that, um, you, you know, like when he gets up? here, just saying, yeah, it's to the airport. Uh, and then just stand there and he's like, what? And be like, go. 
<laughs> I'm going to watch you on the app to make sure you do it, though. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. You, you can't you can't use it anymore, Holly. Come on. <laughs> Delete that thing. But thank you guys for joining. Um, next week, I will be out of my political mindset because it it I, it's I've had to really kind of engulf all of this and not be in any other mindset at all. Um, and after tomorrow, I'm going to feel like I'm uh, breaking those barriers down a bit. So, um, but yeah, thank you, Zach, for joining. Thank you, Gig Work Mama. Thank you, Kim Side Money Plans. And you guys, the. 15th of february is the two-year anniversary yay so um yeah so make sure to be here for that and uh we will see you back Thanks, here John. next week thank you everybody for joining um be safe earn smart and be awesome to people don't be a dick peace <laughs>